I'm at Wendy's in Calhoun, Georgia, and I'm gonna check out the new Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger. Thank you to the Wendy's Center I have to help you. Could I get two Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburgers? We've got our pub burgers. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. This thing comes in at 130.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not a bad temperature, although I'm pretty sure that these things were not cooked to order. I've been to this Wendy's in the past and they've been a little bit on the sketchy side. The pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger is made up of a quarter pound beef patty, Munster cheese, three strips of applewood bacon, smoky honey mustard sauce, beer cheese sauce, fried onions, and pickles. And each one of these will set you back $5.69 in Georgia before taxes. They also have a pretzel bacon pub home style chicken sandwich where they swap out the burger for the chicken and each one of those will set you back six dollars and nineteen cents. That being said it's time to head back to the studios and do the Joe is hungry weight test. I've got two of these so I can check them for consistency and weight from pub burger to pub burger. Pub burger number one weighs in at 9.00 ounces. Pub burger number two weighs in at 9.5 ounces. They definitely passed the consistency test. These things are so close, I really don't see how they got them like that, but my scales are pretty good. Unfortunately, Wendy's doesn't post serving weights on their website, especially for these, so I really can't go there with them. We've seen how much they weigh. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. It's actually a pretty good looking sandwich. That being said, it's time for the Joe is Hungry bite test. It's gonna tell the tale. Joe bite test, engage. Well, the bread's chewy. That um, pretzel burger bun, I'm not really crazy about that. It's chewy, it's kind of hard to bite through. It does hold the sandwich together. This applewood bacon they put in there, I can barely taste it. The sandwich is grossly under seasoned. Usually Wendy's doesn't have a problem putting salt in things, but I think they kind of missed the boat on that one today. It's, it's a, definitely a heavy sandwich, there's no question about that. Uh, the little uh, tangler onions they put on there, um, they don't really add too much to it. I was kind of expecting a little bit more when I opened up the package. I've had other pub burgers on these uh, pretzel burgers and they've had more flavor than this. They're obviously using their standard patty they use in their hamburgers and I'm surprised they didn't put some salt on that. Now if I get a big mouthful of those onions, let me see what happens. I can just slightly taste the onions. The pickles don't do anything. For a value, $5.69. For this volume of a sandwich, and it is kind of a gut bomb, uh, you eat one of these, you're probably not going to eat the second one. It just under season, lacks flavor, uh, the bread's real chewy, not really crazy about pretzel buns, of course I never have been. And of course you all know my score, I have it up here in the screen and in the description below. If they're all like this, I don't think they're going to be a really big seller. I'm going to have to go with a uh, 5.2. That's my review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video.